Hey everyone, back with another video, and today we are going to build something similar to this. So this is a photo that I actually edited quite a while ago, but I posted it up on my Instagram here this past week, and people seemed to dug it and kind of asked how it was done. So we're going to walk through and do that now. So let's get started. So I'm already in Photoshop. Essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to keep like this area of the photo and then we're going to cut around the car, make that white so it looks like it's kind of just floating in space and then you have this. So that's kind of how you get that 3D effect. You have the, the photograph cut out and then you have that base layer underneath it. So the way that I do this is let's first start with a new layer and we're going to grab our marquee tool here and we're just going to make a rectangle and I'm just going to fill that with black so let's hit D to get our default colors and then I'm just going to hit option or alt and then delete and that's going to fill that with black we'll hit command D to deselect and now what we want to do is this is going to be the template of what we're going to cut out so we need to manipulate this so it fits with the plane of the asphalt on the ground. In order to do that, we're gonna hit Command T, and then we're gonna start pulling these ends to manipulate it so it fits on the ground. So let's hold down our Command key, and we'll just pull this over this way. We'll pull this this way, just so it's beyond the back wheel. We'll pull this guy down, so it's just past the front bumper. And then we'll pull this guy down just so it begins to look like it's along the asphalt there. Now this one probably needs to go out a little bit more. And maybe this one needs to come back a little bit. And you just kind of want to get it so it looks like it's laying on the ground. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it just gives you a good starting point for this effect. So we'll, we'll say we're good with that. We'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And now what we want to do is let's go to our background layer. Let's just make a new layer. So we'll hit command J to duplicate that. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this out. So let's grab our pen tool and we're going to make a selection here all the way around the car. So I'll come in here and we'll just go along the car and we want to get a really good selection. This is what's going to blend in with that white background. So take your time and just go all the way around the car. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit and then pick up when I'm at the end. All right, so now we're back at the beginning and we're just gonna close that selection. We are going to right click, click make selection. We'll feather that zero. And then we're gonna come over to our background copy layer and we're gonna apply that as a layer mask. Now if we turn off that bottom layer, you can see what we did. Let's turn off that top layer too. And so now you can see we have our base layer. And if we put a, if we build a new layer underneath that, let's hit X to get white. And then let's go option or alt delete to fill that with white. We'll move that underneath. And now you can see our car is cut out. We have that frame and now we want to make it look a little bit more like it's a photograph and kind of floating i also don't really like this line here i know it's technically right but i think it looks a little weird so i think we want to maybe grab our pen tool or maybe even the polygonal lasso tool and we'll just come in here and let's go straight over to here And let's see how this looks. And 
and then we'll go back to our layer mask and we'll click Alt Delete to hide that. Command D and let's zoom out and see if that looks any better. Uh, maybe it looks, uh, I don't know, maybe it looks better. We'll see. So now what we want to do is we want to make this look like it's a little bit more 3D, kind of like the paper or the photograph edges are lifting. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our brush tool and painting in black, we're going to come underneath and let's bring our flow way down, maybe like 20%. And we're just going to paint underneath on these corners. And what that's going to do is that's going to give an effect like it's a shadow, like it's it's lifting off the ground. And we'll come back. I know that looks terrible, but we'll come back with our, um, let's put a layer mask on that. We'll come back and we'll brush some of that away, painting in white. So you just want to give it, give it a little bit of shadow to give it some of that 3D look. And we'll just come back down around here. If we were painting in black, you'd be able to see what we were doing instead of painting white on white. The other thing that we might be able to do, let's hide this for a second, let's try something. Let's click this layer, and let's click Command J to make a duplicate of it. Let's bring this underneath, and you can see that we, because we changed this, we need to delete that. So I'll just come in here select that, hit delete, we'll go command D to deselect, and then let's go up here. So let's go up to our filter and let's go to blur and let's go to Gaussian blur. And let's see if that will do it for us. I figure we already made that layer, maybe we can use it. So let's say that that's okay. And you can see what that did is that gave us kind of a shadow all the way around. We don't necessarily want that because we wouldn't see a shadow behind. So let's put a mask on that. Let's grab our brush tool, painting in black. Let's raise the flow back up to 100%. And then let's just go in and mask that away. Maybe we'll come in here and mask some of this away. That way it looks like the paper is kind of lifting a little bit. If we go back to the sample image, you can see we have the shadow here. Let's go ahead and put in this kind of photo border. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to click our polygonal lasso tool again. And we'll just come in here and we're just going to draw a box on the inside of our box. Just go all the way around until we get to the other side. And now let's go above our photograph layer. Let's make a new layer. And we're just going to fill that with white. And maybe we'll use a just a little bit of dirty white so it's not pure white. We'll command D. And then you can see that 
we have our kind of floating off the photograph like 3D kind of look. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the dimensions of the square here. I think maybe it looks a little bit funny, but I just wanted to kind of briefly walk you through how this technique works, how you do it. Um, I would probably crop this image down a little bit. Maybe we do like a, like a 16 by 9 kind of thing. Crop it in a little bit tighter here. Hit enter. So, like I said, just a quick, quick tutorial to show how you do this kind of 3D photograph effect in Photoshop. So, hopefully you like this technique. Hopefully you found it useful and hopefully you implement it into your work. And if you do and you post it on Instagram, uh, tag me. I love seeing things like that. So until next time, take care.